what's up guys it's fishy icon here today i'm going to be showing you something i just learned it's um this plugin called reaper x and it looks really nice as you can see the reaper x is um these strands that go along and it's a really really cool plugin you can have a lot of fun with it and i'm going to show you how to make something like this so real quick i'm just going to delete these uh layers i used to say file merge objects and open up a dare logo like that and just bring that right here scale down a little bit and there we go All right. so now you got your logo here as you can see it's in a null so you can move it you're just going to want to take these two paths out delete the null and then select the two paths um, make a control C control V and then right click connect and delete so now you got that then you want to bring in one extrude nerve put the path under and then now you got these two other paths that you can't move well you're gonna go into plugins Reaper X I'm you can go on YouTube and find a uh, how to like install this and then control C control V so you got two of them drag it under oops drag it under the extrude nerve so you got that and then put the paths under the reaper x now you're gonna see you kind of get this weird looking bulky looking thing that doesn't really look nice so we're just gonna move this a little over here there we go well I select both things put the radius down to four the distance bring that down the radius down to around yeah, something like that. Two and six. Now this is just for the Dare logo I'm using. You can use it for any logo. All the different logos or whatever you're using are different. So you're gonna have to play around with the settings a little bit. So I'm just gonna the coils. Oh, real quick, you're gonna go to just make this depth a little not that big, but a little bit bigger like that. Put some fillet caps on here. 0.5, 0 0.5, there we go, there we got it looking better, scoot that over, there we are, okay, put a texture on the dare logo just to get a nice feel to it, and we're just going to play around with the coils, so you can see the coils kind of, how many coils are, if there's none, you're going to get a whole clump over somewhere on the logo, and you you kind of want to like fill it out so it looks good. It's all personal preference, really. Just gonna do that. Distance. If you want to have it like kind of like cartoony, you can put the distance to zero, and it gives it that rough kind of outline. Just bump that up a little bit. There you go. Smaller. Okay. And also, since the Dare logo has this little piece over here, you just gotta find. You can play around with that piece separately. So, like, let's say you want to bring the coils down because, it's up. because like there are too many in such a small spot. Just play with that a little bit. There you go. Strings. Maybe like that. But you want to have like the general, same general feel. So over here, we're just gonna bring the strands. Maybe not that low, but uh, maybe like five, four. So now you got that kind of looking a little weird. So you're gonna want to drag these two reprexes back, like kind of like, mm, kind of like that, so they don't show that much. And put a nice texture on it. I'm using this kind of weird orangey color. Um, you just go to texture luminous lumass. If you want, you can copy these down, and I'll leave it on. Basic set, shader, specular, and that's it. Specular one is kind of you just copy those things down, and I'll show you this one too. It's luminous. Just copy these down. bump is here 
And speculators there. Okay. So now we're just gonna put down the global illumination so we can render this out quicker. Oh, not that. There you go. And one of those renders I'm just gonna say that this whole Reaper X thing is all personal preference. The settings I just showed you and everything, you don't need to copy those. Those are just the way I like them for this particular project. Um, if you go on YouTube, you can find a how to install Reaper X. I'm not sure if you guys have heard this plugin, I just recently found out about it. And it really does give a nice effect, trying to change things up in the community a little bit. It gives it like a nice effect that you haven't really seen before. Kind of like a stitching effect, I guess you can say. And it differs from every logo. You can have the Dare logo with a certain setting, and then have the Faze logo with a completely different setting, because it's a complete, completely different shape, and it has only one um, one path, because it's one set F. But here, you see it rendering out. You, can, you see the the Reaper X in the back because we pushed it back a little bit more so it wasn't kind of overwhelming and you can still really tell that it's a Dare logo as you can see there's a little strands for the little piece in the Dare logo I might have to fix that soon but this is basically the tutorial I'm just gonna like render out and then let you guys see the finished product but this is basically what Reaper X does you can only use Reaper X on paths you can't use it on like solid objects like if you're using a motex you can't use reaper x on that but i'm pretty sure that cinema 40 has a just basic text that you can use instead of a motex which is just the text is a path and you can just throw some reaper x on it but in um the next tutorial i'm doing this is kind of the auto i guess i'm say auto like circles or strands whatever you want to call them um next tutorial i'm going to be showing you a manual way you can do this and like you pick out everything everything you want it's not just a setting you actually move it to your liking so this is the finished project i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like and if you did and a comment always uh always helps me out too so this is it, this is Reaper X, uh, Cinema 4D using the Dare logo. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.